Good evening and welcome to the Lock in Your Success Trade and Market Update for December 2nd, 2012. I cannot believe that it is December already, but uh, you know, another year gone by and another great uh, trading year. I was thinking next week after the December positions are closed, um, probably next week, or it might be the week after, but whenever the December positions are closed, maybe we'll start taking a look at, uh, you know, our, our uh, performance portfolio review for the year, which has been, it's been pretty good. It's been lower than expected this year. Uh, as you can see, we have had some very, very large movements. You know, one of the months that took us out is this huge, huge run down here. And, you know, we have a, a couple of uh, other hard, hard runs into expiration, which is kind of tough on this type of trade, but um, overall, it's, it's it's been a very good year, and I'm, I'm excited to uh, to be heading into next year. And you know, also, uh, in future updates, we'll take a look at what we expect out of next year. So here we are. We had a very aggressive down move. We dropped out of our channel. And if you remember this day here, I'm saying, okay, this is a very bullish sign that we're actually going to bounce. And depending on where we bounce to, was uh, going to kind of give us an idea of um, our longer term movement and we also talked about how most of the V reversals that we've had this year which again this isn't this isn't terribly usual to have this type of a very hard reversal but this year here we have had several of them we come down into a support level and the buyers come in and they are just relentless to the upside so um, you know we've had that here and again this is probably one of the bigger ones actually uh, and I was also stating any move that did not reach uh, over this 82825 level and I think we talked about this level actually last week that we would probably be seeing the 825 level any bounce underneath that level would, I would have considered bearish even though this is a hugely aggressive run uh, but we're pretty much to where we expect it to be it is possible that we're going to run up to 8.30. Uh, it's even possible that we jump higher because when you look at some of the other indices, they still have a little ways to go before they complete their V here. Uh, you know, once we get here, I would expect the move to slow down. However, um, the speed of this move has been very, very fast. And uh, it is December. The people tend to buy in December into the end of the year. I know uh, we have the cliff, fiscal cliff thing coming on. Apparently, nobody cares. So uh, this, uh, again, is, uh, you know, I would consider the, at this point a bullish move uh, longer term, and we'll have to see. My best guess is that we close somewhere in this triangle for the month, probably towards the middle 840 area. And since that is my guess, we can kind of talk about the... Um, you know, the bearish butterfly, which got hammered um, because we were forced to do a delta theta roll up in here, uh, up to 820. We were right on top of the market, and we got whipsawed really hard, and we had to, just to the, I mean, just barely to the point where we kind of had to roll back. And, uh, and then we got this other huge whipsaw. So we got double whipsawed really hard in a low volatility environment, and that will take its toll on... A type, of, you know, on a on the bearish trade. So, you know, had we continued to come down, the bearish butterfly would have done really, really well. Uh, and especially if volatility popped up, gets higher, it does really, really well. But we got this move down without a whole lot of volatility pop, and uh, that keeps the range of the trade down. And this is about what it can handle. So uh, we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Before we go, we'll take a look at the other indices. We got the SPX right up to a resistance level. We may get back down off this level or we may run sideways. Tough to tell. I would say it's more likely we come up again to 1430 next week. We'll see what happens. I would rather have it. Uh, it would be much better for us, however, if we do back off. So we'll see what happens there. The Dow looks like it wants to continue up. We are no ways near. Uh, and this is why, one of the reasons why I'm a little bit, I think the market may go a little bit higher on the Russell. If Russell uh, you know, comes up into here and SPX still has further to run, Dow certainly has further to run, so uh, that may, it may continue to pull us up. We haven't even come up to the 200-day moving average. This is relatively weak. Might be a good uh, indicator if this turns early 
but again, we did break our uptrend line, so that's, I mean, it's nothing, unless, uh, technically it's bullish, you know, what can we say, technically it's bullish. Uh, and at NASDAQ has already pretty much completed its reversal here. So we have some mixed signals uh, in the indices. This is a, a very strong reversal here. Of course, this was down more than a lot of the other indices too. So um, it would be expected to be a little bit stronger. So again, we are in the midst of this bounce. We'll have to see how far the traders are willing to take it. In December, they're usually willing to take it pretty far and you know, blow it off into the end of the year. It'll be interesting. It's uh, from a news standpoint, because it's going to be, not that I pay attention to news a whole lot, but I, I am aware that um, you know, we have it, you know impending tax increases and people may want to take some profits towards the end of the year, which may take the usual uh, in the end of the year rally and cut it short a little bit. And if there are no uh, talks on this fiscal cliff thing, which implies even higher tax increases, that again make spur a sell-off uh, news event that, that will uh, fudge up our technical analysis but for now we are bullish let's take a look at how our trades are handling this here is the uh, December M3 which was doing quite well in the down move uh, as we we're coming down to 765 770 we had profits in this thing up in the 5% range. It was, it was getting close to 5% for a little while. Um, all we needed really was the market to settle for a day or two, the volatility to come out, and have the uh, prices come up, and we could have probably taken a low profit target. With this hard, hard reversal, we did draw down uh, out of those profits a bit. We are still technically up $602, but we do have a lot of commissions because we did a lot of moving around, and that's probably realistically around 300 or break even, uh, you know, plus we're after hours, but it's the trade's pretty, pretty, I mean, the trade's perfectly fine. It's close to break even. If this continues to go and does not stop into expiration, there's a possibility we may end up taking a small loss on this. If uh, really the market gives us a break and backs down into this range and just settles in here for a short time. Uh, and we don't have to go down that far, even if we're running 800 to 790 area, that'll be very good for us. We get a really, really hard reversal. I will really seriously consider just exiting this. I don't want to play with this on the downside. Um, I'd rather continue to chase on the upside. So. This uh, uh, this is where we stand with the M3, handling the move very well. Let's take a look at the bearish butterfly for December. Okay, so here we go, the bearish butterfly for December. We started at 800. We did a delta theta roll to 820. Again, uh, I was talking about how I did not think that that was a wise move in particular. I would have rather have waited till the Russell hit 840 rolled to 820 added in 840 the but you know we went ahead and did it anyway it is in the guidelines although it's it's even mentioned it's flexible in the guidelines but um, but this is this turns out good because this gives us a tough uh, month on the website which makes it a nice learning month so we rolled to the 820 we had a very harsh down move and at that point we had a rollback point of 780 when we came back to 780, we rolled it back. Now, the volatility did come up when the market dropped, but it did not come up nearly as much as you would expect when we have that type of a down move. Normally, you'll get a significant increase. And what that'll tend to do is it will depress the price of the 780 butterfly, and you roll back into it because it's at the money and with a volatility increase. And usually, the bounce doesn't hurt you so bad. When you get a bounce, a lot of times the value will pop back into the 780 and really shave off your upside losses. However, with the extent of the bounce and the fact we didn't have the um, really as much as the volatility increases as you would like to have with that down move, that created a situation where the 780 lost more money than usual. Now, when we had our intraday down move, in other words, I was having a delta theta problem after the bounce. So when we had our intraday down move earlier in the week. I took this as an opportunity when the 780 wasn't down so much money and rolled this to 800. Um, of course, we've got a continuation of the up move and we do have delta theta problems. 
in, I believe. Well, actually, it's not that bad. It, we'd have to look at it in option view, though. But it's a, on the verge of having a delta theta problem. I did have an eight add point at eight twenty, and I decided to hold off on adding. And I can do that by guidelines now because basically we're under twenty one days. So once we hit the twenty one day point, we can kind of uh, bring some, some subjectivity into it. Uh, and go from there. And my thoughts on that are is uh, I'm not sure how much higher this is going. The move uh, is is very bullish. So since that's the case, I decided to keep my position small to limit the drawdown should we con continue to take off. Now that has consequences and you know, depending on what happens. If the market backs down, of course, if if uh, you know we hit this resistance point right around here. And remember, I was calling 825 as a reversal. I think we peaked out right around 825 on the Russell. We peaked out at 824.58. That's pretty darn close. So I was calling that a reversal point, uh, or at least a potential reversal point, and we did get a bit of a pullback. If we do happen to reverse hard here, then I'm perfectly fine. Um, you know, we'll get back to break even, and realistically, we get back to break even. I'm perfectly happy to get out of this position and just move on to Jan uh, just you know focus on the January stuff. If we were to stay in this range, I would have been much much better off adding that 820 when we we're up around 825. However, uh, my thoughts are is the market may continue up to around the 850 level and I was concerned that if I added the 820 and the market wants to take a hard shot up that I am going to maximum loss out on this because it is down um, only about a third of the way to maximum loss but uh, you add extra delta in here and the fact that we're overpaying for that 820 butterfly due to the volatility levels then I could hit my maximum loss uh, never much easier. So what I'm kind of waiting for is to see if this market shoots up over 830. It shoots up over 830. We'll be down about two thirds of our maximum loss. We'll take this 800 butterfly to 820 and add an 840 in here and see what happens. My that's that's one option that I have. Another option that I have is to. Uh, roll this to eight. Uh, either roll it to 820 or just come in here and start filling in the butterfly. In other words, just go into three thirds right away, which is another thing. Depending on what the market does, I may consider doing. So I may consider coming in here, just coming in, buying uh, all my 820s and all my 840s, and at that point you're you're kind of hoping the market doesn't shoot up too much. If I do that and the market shoots up, it's gone. The trade's over. If it sits here, though, I will very, very quickly make back this $5,000 or so. And, and at that point, it allows me to get out. So again, my my market call isn't in what direction is it going to go. It's how, you know, is it going to, to make a hard move or not? Uh, hard to tell at this point. So I'm going to see what happens on Monday and make my decision then. Okay, here is our January bearish butterfly. Uh, we put this on at 790. We paid an outrageous 1650 uh, at uh, initiation, which is very, very pricey. Again, uh, just um, underpinning the extreme low volatility levels and market skewing we have now. Um, we do have a delta theta uh, issue here, so we're due to roll this up to 810. I'm just kind of hanging on, seeing what happens up at this 830 level. And you know we'll go ahead and make the roll if we need to, and add, um, add at eight thirty. Uh, uh, this is down. Let's see, about four thousand dollars. So, and you know, being this far from ex expiration, absolutely no concerns about that whatsoever. So, you know, this is going perfectly fine, and as expected, uh, hopefully we actually do get a little bit more up as far as this trade is concerned. It gets scaled in. The other trades, we would rather see the market go down. So. Um, We'll see how it goes. All right, that's all I have for this week. Enjoy um, your week, and I will keep you updated with any changes. Thank you, and good night.